ground never stops shaking. The mortars and artillery are constant. Everyone's exhausted. It's not even so much the physical work as the mental strain of it all. Medical Corpsman Raymond Torres and his company of 150 Marines are at the defensive outpost atop Hill 861A on the outer perimeter of Quezon. Below them, enemy mortars and rockets continue to pound the base's airstrip, making it increasingly difficult to land planes. More and more, the Marines are forced to rely upon aerial drops for food, fuel, and most importantly, ammunition. For the pilots and crews of cargo planes, the normally routine operation is suddenly transformed into one of the most dangerous missions of the entire war. 600 feet above Quezon, the planes come under intense enemy fire. While the pilot attempts to hold steady, a crewman inside the belly of the aircraft crawls within feet of the open door and releases the supplies. at Quezon, the pilots and crews of these cargo planes are the unsung heroes of the battle. 